a woman was in the back of the church crying out to him and calling him Jesus. This is like the best day of my life. This is just bizarre. I love Jesus. Playing Jesus Christ, that has to be a huge responsibility. <laughs> So this is it, this is the beginning, this is the start? This is the start. Okay. Right now is the start. My life has gotten pretty insane the last year. The Chosen is the first multi-season series about the life of Christ. It's also the highest crowdfunded TV project of all time. Christianity is the largest religious audience in the world, and there's nobody that's playing Jesus at this scale. When you're playing a really iconic character like Jesus, you feel like you have extra responsibilities. When you look over the centuries, Jesus is depicted in every medium, and he continues to be referenced over and over again in culture. You're kind of Jesus. I like to picture Jesus in a tuxedo t-shirt. Jesus Christ at our dinner table. Does anything make you feel more uncomfortable than some stranger going, I'd like to talk to you about Jesus? He has expressed to me that he does have a desire to learn more about Jesus. What could this carpenter from a forgotten corner of the Roman Empire possibly have to say to our world today? I have so much to talk to you about. I am serious. <laughs> the whole Jesus Christ thing, what do you do with that? <laughs> I meet people that tell me that when they pray to Jesus, they see my eyes. But is he the Messiah? He's not trying to be the Messiah. He's not on that trip. It's starting to scare me. My life has always been, in some way, hiding behind the character. You can't make everyone happy, so you do what you can. For somebody who cares about control, the idea of surrender seems like the absolute worst outcome. How do I not be this when I don't want to be? How do I turn it off? Everyone is looking for three things in life. Purpose, love, and connection. It's not until you get to the end of yourself that you get to the beginning of something else. I know it's a lot of pressure, but some people will form an opinion about God based on you. Hey, Jesus! What's going on? You excited? You ready? It's an entirely life-altering experience, and I have no idea where it's going to go. But here I am.